हेलो एवरी वन आई एम दत्तात्रय निकम वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन अवर चैनल ई फंडा न्यू डे न्यू टॉपिक एंड अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एंड कंट्रोल केबल एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू अवर चैनल देन प्लीज विजिट टू अवर चैनल ई फंडा एंड वॉच ऑल द वीडियोज क्रिएटेड रिले द वेरियस टॉपिक्स ऑफ फंडामेंटल इंजीनियरिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एंड कंट्रोल इंजीनियरिंग डिलेवरेबल प्रोजेक्ट करियर telecommunication engineering procurement engineering and many more and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel e funda so let's begin with our today's topic that is instrumentation and control cable introduction to instrumentation and control cable a cable is a thick wire or a group of wire inside a rubber or a plastic covering which is used to carry electricity or electronic signal the definition of a cable means a rope like a bunch of a wire used to connect two things instrumentation cables are single or a multi pair triple element designed to carry signal in other word instrumentation cables are multiple conductor cable that convey low energy electrical signal used for monitoring or controlling electrical power system and their associated processes the difference between control and instrumentation cable is mainly in their use either can be a solid or standard control cables are generally larger wire to handle larger current required for motors whereas the instrumentation cables are smaller diameter and frequently made of stranded wire for more flexibility applicable standards for manufacturing cables are bsen iec bs vde uol nc etc instrumentation cables are of their types polyethylene that is pe cross link polyethylene xlpe polyvinyl chloride that is pvc or silicon that is si insulated the instrumentation cables are generally designed and manufactured based on bs en 50288 formerly bs 5308 eil 6-52-46 and generally as per isi 15541 is 70981 iec 60502 dash these are the standards used instrumentation cables basically divided into the signal cable control cables and communication cable one can refer to the cable structure where the outer sheet overall aluminum polyester tape screen individual aluminum polyester tape screen insulations annealed copper conductor binder tape inner sheet tinned copper drain wire galvanized steel wire armor this is how the structure of a cable is shown typical cable construction one can refer to the picture where outer sheet armor inner sheet collective screen drain wire collective and individual wrapping insulation individual screen and conductors are shown similarly to the other other figure where one can see the construction where outer sheet that is a pvc st1 st2 frls pvc halogen free frls then armor wire strip inner sheet copper conductor insulations and overall screen are typically shown similarly to the other pictures below where one can refer how the conductor and their internal constructions of the cables are shown conductor allows electricity to flow mica tape is optional for fire types insulation prevents contact or unsafe proximity between conductors bedding to protect inner layer from subsequent outer layer armor provides mechanical protection sheathing encloses cable component and provided environmental protection similarly to the right hand side cable construction where one can see the conductor allows electricity to flow where insulation is provided which prevents contact between conductor screen semiconducting layer with copper tape screen covering each core inner sheath bedding 
protects inner layer from subsequent outer layer armor provides a mechanical protection sheathing encloses cable component and provided environmental protection for simplicity primary difference between signal and control cable we are going to see one can refer the difference point below for signal cable and control cable first point signal cable used to carry signal or data from instrument to the control system control cables used to carry low voltage signal like on off to control system and also called as a multi core cable or a multi pair cable second the signal level shall be of a lower power signal such as 4 to 20 milliamps or 0 to 5 volt or 0 to 24 volt dc the control cable used to carry low voltage signal third instrumentation cables are smaller in diameter and frequently made of stranded wire for more flexibility whereas the control cables are generally larger wire to handle larger current required for motor fourth signal cable requires shielding to protect low signal from external interference like electromagnetic radio frequency etc and twisting help to reduce cross talk between pairs of a wire whereas in the control cable does not require twisting but to avoid signal interference there is a shielding layer outside the signal cables are provided one can refer to the pictures where shielding twisted and control cable construction can be seen fifth types a pair cable to connect field instrument that is ft lt pt tt to the control system one can refer to the picture where the cable are shown and how the interface from field instruments to the control system is reach that to connect the various instruments are shown b triad cable the three insulated wire used to connect between rtd and the temperature transmitter one can see the picture where triad cable is shown and on the right hand side picture three triad cable is connected to the transmitter and further it will be connected to the control system third type is the thermocouple cable this type of a cables are used as a compensation cable denoted by the letter c example kc jc etc these are the type where extension cables are used one can refer to the picture where k type thermocouple is connected to the transmitter via compensation cable for the k type thermocouple and other picture shows various types of the cables and their colors are shown whereas in the control cable one can refer to the picture where this type of cables are called as a multi core cable and separate types are not defined specifically where one can see the connection of the field instruments where feedback signal as a digital input is going to the system and on off command as the digital output to the various output devices this is how the cable difference we have covered under signal that is instrument cables and control cable for simplify to understand the actual construction their types and application now moving on to the type of instrumentation cable these are the specific types of the cables we are going to cover first type is the pvc instrument cable which is having individual and overall shielded variant polyvinyl chloride that is a pvc on a outer coating generally pvc is arguably the most popular thermoplastic insulating or insulation material owing to its impeccable feature which the material is characteristically resistance to fire any form of a scrape and moisture the cable conductors material is of the copper which is also known for its top notch electrical conductivity the more importantly it meets several essential cable construction standard including bsen 50288 ul2250 eil6 
dash 52 dash 42 etc now moving on to the second type where xlp cable that is individual and overall shielded variant the xlp cable is the instrumentation cable constructed with the top of the line where thermal and moisture resistant cross links are provided which is of the polyethyl ethane material this type of insulation material features strong molecule three dimensional bond structure where the wire can withstand any form of the external adversity including exposure to uv rays and oil like the pvc instrumentation cable the cable construction consists of highly flexible stranded copper conductor for maximum electrical conductivity the regardless of the instrumentation cable type you opt for you have to remember that the different shielding method and the shielding variation for this type of cables which includes various pattern third type overall is the overall shielded pairs and triad fourth individual shielded pairs and triad one can see in the picture where overall cable shield individual and overall cable shields are shown in the picture similarly one can refer to the other pictures where we have specifically covered individual and overall shielded 20 awg 300 volt xlp e pvc cable where construction one can see and similarly the other picture also where individual and overall shielded 18 awg 300 volt xlp pvc cable one can see the their specification constructions and this is how the instrumentation cables are typically divided we have covered briefly the details and hope this will help you to understand the difference of the cable moving on to flame retardant and fire resistance cable fire retardant cable is characterized by delaying the spread of flame along with the cable so that the fire does not expand one can refer to the picture where fire retardant cables are shown where the fire retardant pvc sheet xlp insulation fireproof layer and conductors are shown mainly the fire resistant cable and frame retardant cables are different in structure and material the basic structure of the flame retardant cable is mainly include the insulation layer uses flame retardant the inner sheet and outer sheet are made up of of the flame retardant the tape and filling use of the flame retardant material and these type of cables are used mainly for the control wiring of a building fire alarm circuit etc whereas the fire resistant cable can maintain a normal operation for a certain period under flame burning condition and maintains the circuit integrity and continue to work for a specified time period under defined condition hence improving the chances of a escape and survival one can refer to the picture where fire resistance cables are shown where one can see sheet for fire resistance insulation that is xlpva compound then the fire barrier that is a mica glass tape and inside that the conductors are been captured fire resistance cables are divided into class a and class b we will see the detail class b class b cable can be into 750 degree to 800 degree celsius flame and rated voltage to withstand the burning for at least 90 minutes and the cable is not broken in the refractory layer to improve the manufacturing process and increase the refractory level and other method based on our classifications class a class a is a fire rated cable can be used up to 950 degree celsius to 1000 degree celsius 
flame and rate it to withstand a burning for at least 90 minute and cable is not punctured now class a fire resistance cable fire performance is better than the class b type of the cable one can see the difference in operating temperatures similarly the fire resistance cables are using fire fighting system and fire alarm control circuit the main difference between the fire resistant and fire retardant cable are being used increasingly due to their usefulness in the event of a fire however though they both sound similar in nature they have vastly different uses and react differently in the event of a fire heat resistant it will operate as a normal at a high temperature and which may or but may not operate as a normal in the event of the fire fire retardant it will not operate as a normal within fire condition but will actively prevent the fire from spreading all across the other areas whereas the fire resistant it can operate as a normal within fire condition this is how we have tried to cover the difference of these two category that is a flame retardant and fire resistant cables moving on to the applicable test for the cable test ensure circuit integrity as per iec 60331 one can refer to the test picture where the test procedure is the test sample is exposed to flame for 3 hours at a 750 degree celsius with a rated voltage being applied to the cable 3 amp fuses shall not blow off test equipment is a horizontal burner that is a flame source with a sample support arrangement this is a test being carried out for the cable second is the smoke density test as per astm d 2843 one can refer to the picture where the test procedure that is a test sample is exposed to the flame at a 40 psi pressure for 4 minute the light absorption data are plotted on the graph as a time versus smoke density that is in the percentage here the test equipment that is a smoke density chamber with a specimen holder ignition system and a photometric system complete this is how the smoke density test is being carried out similarly the oxygen index test as per astm d 2863 one can refer to the picture where oxygen index test is being carried out with a test procedure that is a test sample 7 to 15 cm long by 6.5 plus minus 0.5 mm wide over 3 plus minus 0.5 mm thick in a minimum concentration of oxygen in n2 or n2 plus o2 mixture just support the candle like burning at a room temperature the test equipment is being used as a oxygen analyzer flame source oxygen and nitrogen gas supply and measuring flow meter this is how the various tests are applicable for testing the cable so as to ensure their testing is being carried out to have the integrated circuitry test smoke test and the oxygen index test with this we are concluding on our today's topic and you can find our channel details as follows if you are new to our channel that is our youtube channel e funda then subscribe to our channel e funda and don't forget to press bell icon to get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel e funda similarly you can follow us on instagram page similarly you can follow us on our facebook page as well and keep watching our channel e funda for various topics related to engineering and a project with this we can assure you this will help you to better your understanding on engineering and a project topic keep watching our channel e funda thanks watch our channel for new day new topic